See children, to do this, we need such type of sticks. So let's see how to do it with the help of our waste uh, newspapers. Okay, first you need a brush, thin one, so that it helps you to roll the newspaper. Okay, you can use the old newspaper and you, with the help of this uh, brush, thin one, just go on rolling and rolling. Right, but in between you have to pull the brush, otherwise it will be stuck inside. Okay, now put your fingers so that it's tight enough and then again roll. Put the fingers at the end so that it's tight enough. Pull your brush out if you find it is getting stuck inside. It becomes more easier with the help of brush and once you are done till here use you can use the fevicol in, um, okay or you can use stick even okay so i am going to use this um, so that it is completely rolled yes okay i have taken uh, old copies cover okay and uh, let's see what can we do here i took two plates okay um which was there at my home and i'll show you what to be done okay i will place this and with the help of the marker i'm going to draw this big circle can you see this is a bigger circle okay i don't need this uh, half okay so you can just pull up or you can go for cutting it. It's very easy. Just I took the bigger one and I have drawn this. Now I'm going to take the smaller one and I'm going to put it just inside. Okay. Again, I'm going to draw a smaller circle inside. Okay. Now, here goes my cutting. Now, let me use the scissors to cut the bigger circle and then the smaller one. How to cut, I'll show you. Let me start. Here is my bigger circle ready. Okay, now let's see how we are going to cut the smaller one. Now, fold it can you see this we have read in shapes this is circle and this one is half circle okay and you see in fractions also we have read this is whole and this is half right this is half and this is half and now i am going to cut the smaller one let me show how i am going to cut I want a thicker one. So, I will be cutting with the scissor. I will fold and cut. So, that I am getting a perfect one. Perfect size. Okay. Now, let me go first. Children, you can ask help of your parents while cutting. Okay. So, here I got my frame. Now, let me cut from this middle and here. So, I hope you got everyone. Now, what I'm going to do with this. Here are two sticks. Okay. Here are my two sticks. And I want to paste them. So, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to put Fevicol. Okay. First, to make it stronger. and Okay. And I'm going to paste this two sticks like this okay so that it becomes my base becomes strong enough okay now after this i'm going to use this here and the other one can you see that uh, what i'm doing 
you have to go on color and make your sticks green and you have to prepare then start sticking the sticks to this frame after coloring square let me fold it and show you i'm going to make small flowers so you can fold it again there i showed you half here this is a full screen i made it half and then again after folding there are four pieces out right now i'm going to cut this four pieces and show you see i have cut and i have taken out four pieces now with each piece let's see how to make the flower i have cut all the corners in a giving a small cut okay not exactly square so i don't uh, need exactly the square so i need the edges to be little curved ones so i'm cutting this edges of the small squares okay so like this i'm going to make this four ready and show you now go on making spiral ones like this okay now you can do right now it's your turn how you are going to cut this with this lining with the help of pencil i think so you can do a very good cutting okay go on cutting go on cutting and you can ask your parents to help you there right so then turn it see here i am ready right either way you can choose now it's time how to roll and make the flower so you can roll and make such type of flowers just go rolling from outside to inside okay let me show you one and in this way you can prepare roses again a square piece paper and just go on folding make it half then again fold and make one fourth of each piece okay and then use paper cutter or uh, scissors and make four pieces okay like this four pieces you can make now what is your work is now this small four pieces of such a big paper to making four small pieces now again you are going to make half and then again one fourth now you'll get a square piece okay so here is the four pieces but now you are going to see where is the center from the center you are going to hold it like this the center is to the top now from here you are going to this corner overlapping on this okay now you can make now after folding this overlapping here from the corner after overlapping draw a deep curve like this and use the scissors to cut it so that it gives you some petal looks of a flower now i'll show you this is the one having eight petals now what you're going to do is give a cut on one petal in the middle then put see we call to on one petal so that you can overlap this petal and place it so you see you can find only flower with seven petals okay so the eighth one and the seventh one is overlapping on each other now after this what you are going to do before we have made small curves and it looks like rows we are going to put it now come here for we call and place this small rose in the center which will give you a very beautiful look and let me show you some more flowers made by me before so after this we are going to make such kind of flowers if you find this coming out you can put some more gum in the middle and just stick it okay put some more gum here and you can push from the middle and stick it sorry so you can see i have made such more flowers which is going to help you to paste it on the ones which we have already made okay so let me show you now here is a frame where we have just made to paste the flowers okay so let me show you i hope you can see everyone here it goes 
like this okay so what i'm going to do i'm going to use um some physical here you can if you have a gun okay um like you can just go for glue stick using glue stick and gun you can place it so what we have done we are doing a wall hanging i have done this wall hanging i hope you like it and you try from your side to make your own wall hanging we will decorate it and after coloring and finishing you can just give a cut wherever you find there is extra but like here there is the extra stick i'll cut it and i'll trim okay yes i hope you like this so what we have done we have used line segments we have used half circle we have used petals as fractions as we have folded and then eight parts of one piece small piece and then we have made these small circles and made a small little flowers and with this we are going to decorate we will add some more flowers here or we can add stars even let me make stars to add now let me show you with a square paper again i'm folding it half then with another one fold i'm making four pieces right with these four pieces what i'm going to make small fold small four small pages like this and then again i'm going to give a fold one fold and the second fold. so you see each big paper i am cutting and making eight small small pieces isn't it so how many in total so a big paper with small four squares each small square into more four pieces so in total there will be 16 stars we are going to take 16 small little stars let me show you how to do it now once you are done you can use a marker or pencil whatever you are comfortable with okay draw like this okay from the top you can draw no issue whichever side you are comfortable you can do so that we are finding our small star okay see i have done a very small star for me and i'm going to give a cut with this now you see my star is ready now i'll take out the star slick you can see here okay see so in this way there are more stars i have cut okay as you can see here i will be i'll be taking out such small more stars from these papers and we are going to paste it okay here after cutting here i go with some more small little stars okay so now it's time to paste on our wall hanging Let's decorate this. Do you like this? Yes. You can take a uh, glitter and uh, you can use glitters to decorate. It fell down. Let me paste it somewhere here as it fell down. My wall hanging will be completely filled with red stars. And in between, we are going to use glitter to decorate. This is a very small and easy um, stars made for you. Okay. Very easy stars, right? And let me decorate. And then I'll show you after decorating completely how is it looking like. Okay. Here it looks like this. After decorating, let me make leaves. For leaves, I will be choosing a light color green square paper to cut. Let me show you how to cut. It's the same way again. We are going to make it half, then one fourth. Okay, then we have to make these small pieces. As I told you, we are making it around 16 small squares. Now you see. One big square, then four little ones, and then little more four ones. Now here you can come one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Four fours are sixteen. Now small little sixteen pieces. I'm going to. Now I'll show you how to cut. Let me 
make it small pieces first you make small pieces so that it is easy for you to cut otherwise it will become very difficult for us to cut okay okay i'll show you with one piece first and then you can understand so oh, these small pieces let me fold this and show you how to cut see i am showing you because i need you all to understand how to fold the papers and how fractions are useful in decorating even okay so same same way we are just going to give a fold from the corner make small triangle out of it okay small triangle now from this corner where the center you'll see don't cut from other sides where the center is we are going to cut from the center okay let me try and show you how it how the leaf we are we need a leaf right so i need a leaf i'll give a cut like this very sharp cut it will give a very beautiful leaf design okay now let me show you how the leaves are how my leaves are looking like okay yes here is my leaves okay so now these small leaves we are going to decorate okay how to decorate let me show you again we are going to bring our decorative ones then with these small leaves we are going to decorate our hanging i hope this you are going to enjoy okay let me paste and show you this is something which you can do it wherever you want to fix the leaves and this will enhance and your decorative part becomes more beautiful when you paste leaves just near okay and in this way i'm going to paste the leaves and i'll complete it and i'll show you see i'm just using so that yes doesn't it looks beautiful let me complete and do it show you so now this is a wall hanging now you can use glitters to decorate this or you can use golden stars in between to decorate i hope you like this and you are going to do any designs you like from line segments fractions shapes right now with the help of glitter we can decorate the stars okay it is up to your wish if you can just put a dot i'll make a uh, small little stars like this okay and like once you are done it will somewhat give you uh, this texture now after doing the decoration with the glitter you can give the borders of the flower even now in between i want to put the beads there were some beads at my home which i have used to um, decorate these flowers okay so i need a thread where i have tied it to hang this so i have finished i'll show you by hanging how does it look like okay so you are going to make such beautiful designs of hanging for this christmas and you are going to send me the photos right Now this is your wall hanging. Okay. So I hope you like it.